Today's video is for all my reservoir engineering friends that do reserve calculations. All right, so the situation is I have a client that's a public company. They own 25% working interest in this field, but they're not the operator. Now they provided me with a geologic map on the big A sand structure for the, that's based on well control and 3D seismic. They have a, produ a produced well here and a, and a productive well here, but they have identified a, a, a prospect well here. Now, the operator says they're working up the AFE, they plan to spud the well in four to six months, and my client wants to participate. Uh, and the preliminary economics for this area shows that this would be a viable economic project. All right, so we've had several wells drilled we have a, a, in the area, so we have a, a in 1981, we have a, a 32 feet of a well that's dry with 32 feet of water. We have a shale out well here and a shale out well here, and we have a salt dome here. Okay, this well produced from 1982 to 1990 and watered out. The original log has a 30 feet of gas full to base. This well was drilled in 19, 1981, but it's never produced, but it has 18 feet of gas and 10 feet of water and it identifies the contact at 9325. The geologists have estimated that the original contact on this fault block is 9325, and the volumetrics and recovery seem to fit that, so that agrees. So over here, we, we have an estimated contact in the undrilled fault block of 9325. All right, so SEC guidelines say uh, that if you have an undrilled fault block and you're not, and you're not sure it, it's pressure communicated with the other reservoirs, you might not be able to book that as proved. But they also say you can use reliable technology. All right, so the seismic shot in 1996 has a very bright amplitude covering this area and the geophysicist says that it's a direct hydrocarbon indicator based on his experience. So the question is, can we book a proved are probable for this location and help the client out. I'd like to get your opinion.